So now let's go for Shreya's question. So Shreya says prism, right? Clear, sir. Abhinav says clear, sir, right? So now let's draw a prism, right? So let's say this is this is the situation I'm trying to see. Rays of light come here, they bend towards the the base, right? Bend downwards, right? So now there is a a wave front here another wave front here so you can see these are parallel wave fronts like coming parallel rays of light here right yeah right so now now look at this piece here uh, this piece right it's traveling in glass whatever this distance is but look at this one this here it's all in the air because it's traveling in air speed is equal to distance by time distance is equal to speed multiplied by time speed is more in the air so distance traveled is more you know so now what happened here just now is is this the wave front that was that way is now this and and you can take more points if you want to because look at this point here adha idhar adha idhar to maybe somewhere in between here right ye point yahan tak pahunch gaya right so now now if you look from the perspective of rays rays were here but now rays have to be perpendicular to this so rays bend over here this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees and rays are basically illustrations of what where the wave front is going you draw 90 degrees to the wave front or if you think think of photons in the direction of travel of photons either way rays are just for illustration for making our life easier they're the tools like Shreya, but uh, Shreya, is, is it clear? Anybody else who is not clear? Any other question? Confusions? No confusions? Okay. So then, then, then let's move on. And I'm going to unshare my screen and um, upload more slides. Right. We have gone really fast. This was supposed to be done today. But see, the point is, there was not nothing much to explain. Most of it was self-explanatory. Um, there was one minute left to upload after I find the slides. Uh, wave optics, I got it. So Huygens wave theory and interference of light waves. OK, that is next. Um, Yeah, Huygen is actually a Dutch name, so it's a little different pronounced than it is written. And different pronunciations out there, Huygen, Huygen. Um, yeah. So let me share it back. Uh, Shreya Bhatt, thank you for answer, asking that. Okay, let's let's cover. So as I'm saying, the the doubts take precedence over whatever I'm teaching here. Please keep asking doubts. Shreya is saying, why does the light split into different colors? Right. Uh, or oh, you want to copy the diagrams, Abhinaya? Abhinaya likes pencils and those kind of creative things I'm drawing here. So Abhinaya, take a screenshot of this. Yeah, please feel free. Yeah. Okay, Abhinaya, here is one thing. And others can also take advantage of what Abhinaya has asked me. So Abhinaya, take the screenshot. I will not spend more than 10 seconds on a slide, please. Take a, take a screenshot. And you can always do that after the class also. So take a screenshot. Get notes. No, get notes. Everything will be downloaded. And you can keep whatever you want. Okay, that's all. Okay. Now let's talk about what Shreya Bhatt is asking. Uh, and that was actually part of your 10th curriculum. Uh, oh, good night slide you the year okay so let's see so do you understand everybody I'm not talking of sh to Shreya but I'm talking to everybody at this point of time so does everybody understand that refractive index is a ratio of speed of light in vacuum to speed of light in in in, in a given medium does everybody agree or understand or understand now right now, what is speed of light in vacuum? Speed of light is three times 10 to the power eight meters per second for all colors, not just all colors, everything, ultraviolet, infrared, you don't, don't really care. It's three into 10 to the power eight. And this is the basis of 
uh, Einstein's special theory of relativity, right? This is an absolute number for any electromagnetic radiations. When we are talking of light, we are not specifically talking of wave gear. We are talking of everything, radio waves, gamma radiations, everything. Yes, Abhinay, you're right. We are right. Okay. Now, this velocity of light actually depends on color, or basically it depends on what wavelength you're talking about. So, violet travels the slowest. We're talking of visible light as of now, and red one is the fastest in a medium which is not vacuum. Right? Vacuum is the sare three into ten to power eight. Theory of relativity will fail if something changes here. Right? We are talking of in any other medium, violet is the slowest and, and red is the fastest. But the implication of that, refractive index of red is minimum, isn't it? Because Nietzsche less more number agya, refractive index is minimum. Now refractive index is maximum. Please everybody understand this. For violet light. For the same medium, violet light will have more refractive index than red light. Right? Ultraviolet will have more. Gamma radiations will have most. Right? Microwaves will have less. Right? Radios will have waves will have least. Clear so far? Clear? Now, iske baad jo hai, Snell's law. I will cover the Snell's law, even though it is coming in ray optics. We will cover it now. That's fine. So Snell's law, most of the books, they are giving a confusing kind of statement there. Re incidence angle, refraction angle. That is not the correct way. If you study that way, you're going to be really confused and make like, like you will take a lot of time in exam also. The way I'm telling you some of the questions in J mains exam, you can do in two seconds versus if you do mu i, mu n, you might take two, three minutes. I'm really telling you. I'm really really I'm telling you because there will be questions where you have 10 10 of these media here and light goes this 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 and you're interested in this and this only then you don't really care about medium in between right if you follow what I'm trying to say so there are two media here let's say medium one has mu one maybe this is medium two has mu two right Snell's law kya bolta hai? Snell's law simply says mu times of sine theta is a constant this is only the shape and form that you should remember the Snell's law. Any other shape and form is not use, useful. It's going to confuse you a lot. You will start thinking this is incidence, this is refraction. Doesn't matter what is incidence, what is refraction. Mu times of sine theta is a constant. How do we use it here? So let's say there is a ray of light that is going in this way. And I don't even show you the direction of travel. Let's say I don't really care. You know, which is incident, which is refraction. I don't really care at this point. All I'm saying is this angle is theta one and this angle is theta two. Whatever is incidence, refraction, I don't care. So I can say mu times sine theta is a constant. It means mu one sine theta one is equal to mu two sine theta two. Does everybody understand this? What I have written here? Any confusions? Ask me now. And then maybe maybe you have more of these. Seriously. Okay. So either ka angle, fir either ka angle, fir either ka angle, fir either ka. So all you know is mu one sine theta one is equal to mu two sine theta two is equal to mu three sine theta d. You keep writing it. You don't really care kahan pe kya ora, kya nahi ora. So now if I'm interested in mere ko ye medium pata hai mu one two three four five six mu six hai or mu one hai. This is theta one. This is theta six. I don't have care what happened in between. I can say mu one sine theta one is equal to mu six sine theta six. Beach me or dal diye unse bhi kuch farak nahi padega. Nothing matters at all. All I care about is mu one sine theta one is mu six sine theta six. Any doubts? Any confusions? Please. Okay. Now to the point where why light splits in different colors. Does everybody agree because of the refractive index, more the refractive index, more the bending. If this is not clear, you can look at the Snell's law, it will explain you. Agreed, yes or no? More the refractive index, more the bending. Is that clear, yes or no? Ah, clear, take it. Now let's make a prism. 
so so let's say uh, one second so let's say i'll draw a prism here ठीक है प्रिज्म बना दिया अब इसमें क्या है वेब गियर इज फॉलोइंग इन वेब गियर एज इन ऑल लाइट्स राइट सो वायलेट भी आ रही है इंडिगो भी आ रही है रेड भी आ रही है तो मैं मैं काम करता हूं ऐसे बना देता हूं रेड आई इधर व्हाइट लाइट आई सपोज व्हाइट लाइट आई ठीक है व्हाइट मेरे पास नहीं है हाउ कैन हाउ कैन आई ड्रॉ व्हाइट सो लेट्स से ब्लैक रिप्रेजेंट व्हाइट तो ये दिस लाइट इज वेब गियर व्हिच एक्चुअली इज ऑल द कलर्स अब क्या होगा कि रेड लाइट बेंड्स टुवर्ड्स द नॉर्मल ना सो नाउ नाउ इफ यू ड्रॉ द नॉर्मल हियर दिस इज द नॉर्मल रेड लाइट विल बेंड टुवर्ड्स द नॉर्मल इट हैज टू ओके इट बेंड्स टुवर्ड्स द नॉर्मल बट देन लुक एट इट वायलेट बेंड्स मोर बिकॉज़ इट हैज मोर रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स है ना एंड देन ग्रीन विल बी समवेयर इन बिटवीन ओ ये क्या कर दिया हां ये ठीक है ठीक है तो ग्रीन उसके बीच में आ गया अब इधर गए तो इधर क्या होगा कि दीज आर दॉर्मल्स नॉन नाइट दीज आर नॉर्मल अब रेड लाइट विल बैंड अवे फ्रॉम नॉर्मल ब्लू लाइट विल बैंड मोर सो लुक एट दिस दीज आर सेपरेटेड आउट बिकॉज ऑफ डिफरेंट रिफ्रेक्टिव इन डाइसिस क्लियर है श्रेया नाउ इज इट क्लियर एंड एवरीबडी नॉट जस्ट श्रेया एवरीबडी सेम गोज विद फ्रंट नाउ रेड वे फ्रंट विल बैंड मोर क्योंकि उसकी स्पीड जो है सॉरी रेड वेव फ्रंट विल बेंड लेस क्योंकि उसकी स्पीड इसमें इतनी इफेक्ट नहीं हुई थी ना इट डिड नॉट स्लो डाउन एज मच एज ब्लू मोर द स्लो स्लो डाउन इन ग्लास मोर द बेंडिंग क्लियर 